Hey, hey, my name is Polish Links and we are back to some DAZ Rare. Okay. He were glanced in my direction with a dose little look on her face, reminding me that lunchtime had come. そういう優しさって男の子に大事な様子だと思うわ、藤井君。あ、そうっすか。最近、サンドイッチがあんまり減らないのよ。What? I was quitting the lunch with all the people I talked to this morning. It appeared to have become a custom of ours. The skies might have been clear, but the wind remained strong, and there was a different chill in the air. Lucky for us, we had all grown up quite fond of having lunch on the roof. <laughs> I wonder myself. わかりましたよ、聞こえよがすに。私がいただきます。いただきますから。私は藤井君の意見が聞きたいのよ。それはその、えっと。あ、あ。ねえ。なんで減らないんだと思う自分が食べる分だけ持ってくればいいんじゃ
As with her acciated gazzled uh, glazed glazed card. I looked up at Rosalba and dropped my hand through the hair. Her hair. Yes. It was best as it was right now. It would be best if things continued to go on as they were right now. うわ。なんでそこで無闇にクリーミーなんですが。生クリームと果物のサンドイッチってあるでしょ。あれのお用なんだと思うの。だったら果物を合わせてくださいよ。なんでツナなの。私に言われても。月額の売店は本当にチャ
放課後一緒にペットショップへ行きますか What's with everyone wanting to go there? じゃあ私オウムが見たい店で変な言葉を覚えたら<笑>値段が下がるかもしれないし<笑> good one, good one. やっぱりレアさん来ないでください<笑>冗談なのに No, I definitely wouldn't put it past her. I stood up with that for t h e r s a k a stood lightly on her tiptoes and grabbed my shoulder. Ah, Anasa, Hoka no, Nanda Keda. Hm? Ah, Kotowattaro? So Janakte Koko de Aoyo Futari Kiddi. Hey. Sure. Rosaka dashed out, clinging to onto Sakurai's bay, waist. The latter laid out the light cry, seeing as how she was just assaulted from behind, r i g h t in front of the staircase. But I couldn't tell what she was saying. Or rather, whatever it was didn't matter. Rosaka's whispers had left a ticklish sensation and unique hit in my ear. A cold breeze blew by. The heat shielding my ears had probably welled up from deep within me. I remembered c h i r o n and Honjo kissing when I touched my ears. Ruska must have seen them and imagined us doing the same. I felt a bit annoyed that she was influenced by Shira. But well, it was starting to think that wasn't too bad. Well then, something interesting will happen after school on the rooftop, right? My head was in the clouds all throughout afternoon classes. No matter what I did, I just couldn't concentrate. Huh. Or to be perfectly honest, I could only think about the same things. The sensation of her kissing me on the cheek. Her brief as she whispered those secret words in my ear. And what Shiro had shown us. Every time my thoughts were on the verge of heading in wicked directions, I looked down at my textbooks, but my teacher's voices weren't registering with me at all. I couldn't keep my cool. My heart was restless the whole time. I mocked myself, thinking of how utterly comical it would be. If I was the only one getting worked up like this, maybe Rusanka hadn't been insinuating anything like that at all. If so, then I'd be a dumbass for getting so bothered by it. It was frustrating and pathetic. But, for some reason, not even those thoughts could calm me down. I was convinced. Convinced that she was definitely thinking the same thing I was. That she wanted the same thing. So. There was still just as windy after school had ended. We stood side by side, gripping the rings of defense. We felt each other's presence and empty our eyes away from the scenery before us. For some reason, the duly familiar rooftop view felt like a brand new sight to me. The two of us stood next to each other and listened to the sound of the wind as we looked down the systematically constructed r o o t city. I felt a faint source of heat to my right. We were so close that I knew if I stretched my hand out, I could grab her slender shoulder and bring her over to me. Okay, if she, when she bends like that, she's not that small in the hopes and dreams area. Oh, yeah. So, so, you could say something like. Wait, there.、Ah, how was that line? How was. Okay, there was a good line explaining.、Uh, explaining this.、Uh, This phenomenon. Well, whatever. But I, I'm guessing that might be that phenomenon basically over here. Just wearing some kind of clothes makes you not showing, makes you not being able to show the actual 
hopes and dreams are uh, in correct sizes. <laughs> what am I even talking about? Okay, then never mind that, okay? Crap, what the hell was I doing? I knew she didn't call me out here to talk about this sort of stuff. But there had to be something I could use to transition to that topic. Unfortunately, there just hadn't been any chance to do so in this conversation. Yeah, that was all it was. <sighs> we fell silent again. Maybe I had it wrong all this time. As I stood still unnerved by the silence, I suddenly felt something touch my pink. Right, Pinky? Oh. <laughs> I looked to my side to see our hands interlaced between us. Lusorko. I saw myself reflecting those as the eyes of hers against that led a fierce impression on all it beheld. Her eyes and voice simulated a part of my brain. What in the world was this sensation? This anxiety I had been feeling since this morning. Pink. She moved her peggling lips and carved my name to the cold wind with a husky voice. We drew closer to each other as if affected by a magnetic force. With my left hand and Rosalco's right grasping the fence, we bent our bodies unnaturally and kissed. The fence, with my left hand still gripping it, made a sound as for rebuking me for trying to catch up to their rapidly fading warmth. to do that in front of everyone kind of kind of annoys me <laughs> but whatever Rosaka's red hair danced in the wind Okay. <laughs> I looked up from my tiptoes to the sky, gazed at the clouds, closed my eyes, then, without opening them, shook my head to the right and opened my eyes. Her eyes were looking right up at me, filled with amusement, enticement, enticement, and goading. Invisible lightning shoot out of them and sent sparks running through my body in an instant. My left hand then parted from the fence as though it were electrocuted. Lusaruka. I placed my hand over Rosalka's, still wrapped around the rings of the fence. Her hands then slipped away from the fence as if my touch were the key. We turned to each other. I started her beautiful pink lips, the ones I'd seen every day. Will he do it, ladies and gentlemen? Is he going to do this? No. No. Seriously, I was certain yet. Every day, these were the same lips I saw every day. No, they weren't. Why hadn't I noticed earlier? She was wearing lips. <laughs> Fuck! Here I thought he finally realized what's going on. <laughs> lipstick. She was wearing lipstick. That's what she realized. What? I was sure of it. Now that I'd gotten a close look at her, maybe it was lipstick, but at the least I hadn't seen that color on her before. I must have noticed it unconsciously. That had to be why I'd been feeling like something was off the whole time. Are you fucking kidding me? Just that would freaking eat your whole concentration. 
and who did follow several things that had seemed unnatural suddenly cleared right up. Had been driving her to try her hardest all day. I brought her small frame towards me as though it were but second nature. Not the guy. We could feel each other's warmth through our school uniforms. It was tantalizing. A great many words came to my mind. Eh, head. She's so warm. What if someone drops in on us? She's so sweet. Her heart's soft. I've got to say something. I can hear the wind rattling the fence. She's small. There's plastic bars fluttering in the wind somewhere. She's so tender. I can hear some birds spitting. I'm cold. I'm freezing. She smells nice. So lovely. But each fall disappeared just as soon as I'd come. Like soap bubbles. Our embrace was the best way for me to convey them. Far more than any words or actions could. <laughs> Ruska hesitantly wrapped her fingers around mine. How the hell do you not realize what's going on? <laughs> she gripped my hands and buried her face in my chest. That it's a problem for, I mean... I kind of wanted to kind of have the possibility of Rusalka's route in this game, so I guess we are getting at least a bit of it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I grip those chilled slender fingers back while taking her up to exert, exert too much strength. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they are going to do that. Definitely. So what she was really implying was So Kanna. Oh cover it. She wants it to go for it, damn it! Well, yeah, in its own way. But how? But of course. <laughs> I knew what she meant, but it was probably cowardice that drove me to play dump. <laughs> I got a picture. <gasps> I had crossed me with all I had and lost myself in stealing a kiss from her. Only a kiss? <laughs> she instinctively resisted, but only for a moment. She then loosened the mess for she was melting into me. I did it. It wasn't after our lips men that I realized mine were dry. I figured I had to be disgusting for Salka, but I just couldn't bring myself to part from the sweet sensation. Soft tissue brushed against my bottom lip. What? Carefully tracing the bird line between the inside and outside my mouth. Who the hell uses tissue as an example for a kiss? I felt all the tension slip out of my arms. It was at this moment that I was standing on her deep toes. Well, she's not really a tall girl, so. I felt my nose and lungs hook her scent. Rosalka wrapped her arms around my stretched neck and drew my me close. She gave me a peck on the lips, as if to grant them the relief from their chopped state they so desired. I... I don't hear the laughter... For so I giggled as though it tickled her. Yeah, totally! Her melody voice sang to me as we brushed our noses against each other. Yep, they will take this a few steps further. 
誰も来ないよ。Yep. No one will see you guys. Probably. You don't know. Shira might be around as well. Ellie might be around. Rhea might be around. I wouldn't be surprised. I couldn't be sure of that, of course, but I didn't want it to end here. Just go on some other branch then. Ah,、oh. <laughs> maybe we should have picked a more romantic occasion. But I. She freed my neck from her arms and dropped her warm palms around my cheeks. I took a brief without even noticing it. The sensation of her giggles against my face was making me thinklish. I placed my hands on her, she loosened her fingers from cheeks, my cheeks, and dropped her, them around my own. Something that made her feel at ease. Ah. We pressed our cheeks together, fall chilled by the way, and they began to heat each other up. And. I burst her tight frame against the scarlet skies of dusk, and that's actually a freaking beautiful art. Could feel her heartbeat, and aroma flew into me with her warmth. The two of us felt the wind blow past us as we looked out into the twa twilit scenery before us. There was a hint of anguish mixed with her modest joy. Her peaceful expression was betrayed by a voice full of distress as she looked far into the distance. Not that I'd noticed it, I couldn't help but question her about it. Oh, is he going to notice finally? ごまかすなよ。I wrapped my arms around her tighter so she wouldn't bluff. Now we're facing the same direction. So you know, sir. Ushinaitakunaikara そのまま止まってくれたらいい。あ、どうか胸を張れる輝きのままでいてくれとそう思うんだ。I know I'd fight anyone in order to protect mine. Fight. The world had a rather unpleasant ring to it here, yet it felt all the appropriate. 
あとでどれだけ追い求めても伸ばした指先の間からすり抜けるだけだろう Which was why I am Brestor Salka like there was no tomorrow. Why was I feeling so uneasy today? This mind was unsteady, almost like I was walking on a straw scaffolding, just blinking me feel like I was sinking into a swamp. But those words. Her voice now lay, fa- laced with further sorrow, turned to a sign dissolving to the twilight. I was not doing Yep, it was sad but true, and also when I felt I couldn't just simply dismiss her argument. All sorts of harmony misfortunes existed that dealt major damage even when we were prepared for them. Like a storm, the world was teeming with them, and very few could avoid them no matter how carefully they made decisions. Gaps in talent that out mode of how hard work would close. These parties between us set from the old we are born. To be blunt, it was just painful. Who was she talking about? 
and I heard of a soldier like that before. Even be with her to our everyday lives precisely because no such thing that like that ever happened in them. She sounded like she was talking from experience. Oddly enough, I was feeling strangely angry at that moment. I touched her Salka cheeks. A look of a bizarre yet nostalgic guilt for having left someone behind. それともなんだよ。俺の体温は幻か。そりゃよくできた偽物だな。素人いたずらだってできそうにもないぞ。失ったものは帰らない。仮に亡くしちまったものができた後でも、まだそんな言葉を吐けるかどうかも。体験するつ
これがあなたの望んだ世界私が入ったことでちょっとだけ歪んだけどこれがあなたの願った夢あなたが溺れたかった水子はここなのハイウォーズ This is what she'd like me to watch my dream? <laughs> 